Well, guys, I'm finally out here. Okay, I'm finally out in the garden, about to harvest my bed of beets. And if you've been a long time follower of my channel, you know I've never grown them. Last year was my first slight, you know, I got some beets, but not a harvest by any means. Most of these are spring succession planted beets. Um, I've harvested a few in here and there um, for just fresh eating, but um, not for preserving. So we're gonna get in here, see if we got anything yet again in the conquering uh, journey of Beats versus Rachel. <laughs> we'll see who won this year. Oh. Why I'm doing this, by the way, it got to 29 degrees last night. So a pretty good, decent, heavy freeze. And they're starting to set in very regularly. So first one, as you can see, I still can't grow beets. <laughs> Just a little baby. Oh, this one's not too bad though. Nice. It's a nice size one. This is the very last crop to bring in. Other than I have a lot of herbs that I need to pull in before the end of the season. Oh, wow. That's a fun one. Nice. Guys, that's a beet. <laughs> Yay. But I think the majority are probably gonna be the little golf ball ones. Like that one didn't even do it. I tried something different this year too. I tried the Charles Downing method and Luke at In My Gardener does it too, where you plant them in a clump and they're supposed to like it like that. As you can see, they didn't. So, I don't know. Here's a nice one. I'm going to show you. I feel like I want to show you every single one. Like, look, I did it. Yeah, nothing. Well, here's where I tried to grow some together and one grew good and the others kind of not so much. Same right here. I don't know, maybe I didn't do it right still. If you guys have any tips, <laughs> if you can easily see what I'm doing wrong, let me know. We get a few really big monsters. Must have been the early spring ones. Okay, well, I ended up with um, two baskets of, I don't know, decent ones couple very exciting nice big beets but for the most part they're all just like normal beets this big basket is filled with the uh, smaller than a ping pong ball size and just leaves so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet but I don't want all that those good leaves to go to waste so I might just freeze dry the leaves and then turn it into powder I had some sage out here in the garden so I went and harvested that I am going to move up front to my flower beds and just do a final harvest of my oregano and grab some more time. So all in all, I mean, it's more than I've ever gotten before. And some of them are monsters. So, I mean, I might get a half a dozen pints or so of pickled beets, which is I've never put up any of my own before. So I'm making progress. <laughs> I'm not giving up. But uh, winter's here, yeah. We've got three full nights in the forecast. Michigan's already getting snow north of us. So it's gonna be here before we know it. Uh, thanks guys. Any encouragement or words of uh, wisdom on growing beets? I'm sure not only I will benefit from it, but anyone else uh, that's struggling like I do with certain root crops.
I used a lot of this oregano this year. Harvest after harvest after harvest. And I would have never successfully overwintered or had oregano come back. Um, so I really hope that this year it does. It's a lot of time, lots of time. How's it going, baby? Huh? What a fresh yarrow growing like this time of year. Mm, Look at that yarrow. That's great. But I'm working for the day. Okay. I'm done too. How'd the beet harvest go? Oh, it's as exciting as I wanted. Really? Like it was coming out of I figured you needed help carrying them all. You had like 200 pounds of beets or something. No, maybe 10. Ten? Maybe, if that. There had to be some big ones There's, in there. There was like a handful, yeah. maybe two handfuls of big ones. The rest are just, I showed them, just whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe You're getting better though. <laughs> you went from no beets to some. Some beets, yeah. All right, well, I was just cleaning up this flower bed, deadheading everything, trimming it all back. It looks a lot better than it was. Yeah. I need to get that big dead morning glory out. Oh. Yeah, and I think when we when we mow one last time, I'll probably get the weed whacker out and clean up this edge. Yeah. Along here nice once before winter and... Yep. Oh, we're going to get something exciting tonight. Do you remember? Yeah. He's nervous about it. I said we could handle it. So come back and we'll show you what this. I'm not nervous about going to get it. I'm nervous about where we're gonna put it. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we probably need to go do that part of that project. Yeah. I'd rather do it before we go than after we go. Yep. I bet, take your guess down below. What do you think it is? I bet okay. none of you will guess. <laughs> we're going to pick something up and we're gonna bring it home. And we don't know if we have ha Room, room to put it where it needs to go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go take my yummy goodness in the house. And uh, I guess I can finish this half of the bed later because that is priority. All right. Thanks for coming along in the garden with me tonight. <laughs> Your hands probably smell like all this. Yes. Okay. I was carrying from the bottom basket. It's not that heavy. Just well, how about I carry two and you carry one? All right. Does that work? Or you want me to carry no, it all I, and then you get I the camera? I got it. I'll get the camera. All right. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>